Some new numbers from our nursing homes show that their staff shortages are getting even worse. CBS 17's Jody McCrary is digging deeper tonight into why nearly 40% of homes across the state say they, they don't have enough people to work there. I talked to Adam Scholler about it. He's the president of the State Nursing Home Association. He says it hasn't affected patient care, but they can't keep it up. But over the longer term, and particularly for, uh, for individuals who need the care but are not in a facility, uh, you know, this is, this is really concerning. The association says in almost two years, homes in our state have lost more than 12,000 employees, a 13% drop, mostly due to COVID fatigue. And federal numbers for the state show one in three as being short on nurses. If you look at our employment uh, statistics, they've really decreased month over month, almost every month in the pandemic. The shortages causing some homes to cut admissions, forcing those patients to stay longer at hospitals instead, leaving them too crowded. Many facilities have had to restrict or outright stop admissions due to these workforce shortages. Nursing homes trying to make up for the shortages by paying more in overtime and giving raises and bonuses to the workers they do have. Scholler says that won't last. It is being pro provided really in, in a manner that's not going to be sustainable. Uh, for very much longer. He says the problem traces back to money, saying the state's Medicaid reimbursement rate is too low. I think we have to look at meaningfully increasing the, the rates and the funding into uh, this program so that we can pay higher wages and attract more people into the workforce. In My Story Online, Scholler explains what our nursing homes could look like if nothing changes. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.